Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps updates roundup number 54. In this episode, I'm going to share with you 28 new features and the changes. So let's find out what's new. Let's start with YouTube and the first change is the new pinch to zoom feature. So for example, if you are playing a video in landscape view and you don't see a specific part of the video well, you can pinch to zoom this part to take a closer look and as you see, it will show you the amount of zoom in a small circle like this and by the way this feature is a new experimental feature for premium users that you can activate right away from your home feed so i first saw this card in my home feed says pinch to zoom and i just tapped on try it out and the feature got activated or you can simply visit youtube.com slash new and activate the feature from here next the video chapters and it got plenty of new changes the first one is the ability to repeat the currently playing chapter as you see here there is a new button next to share and when you tap on it this chapter will keep looping and as you see it's now popping out on the progress bar so let me remove it activate it and as you see this what happens the second change when you search for videos and one of these videos has chapters as you see the section has more rounded corners compared to the old design and also when you expand this section you will see a new design that looks like a timeline and instead of that separated thumbnails like before and when you tap on any of these uh, chapters it will show you the chapter count and name in the viewfinder which wasn't the case before. Change number five in the YouTube app, when you play any music video and then expand the listening controls, you will see a bolder and bigger font for the jump forward and backward button and also a bolder font in the listening controls title. Last but not least, when you tap on the gear icon, you will see a new option here called the stats for nerds. But when I tap on it, nothing happens. So please let me know in the comments if you have any idea. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below. Then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Next, YouTube Music. And the first change is the new More button next to the Listen Again section. And this one will show you even more stuff that you can listen to. The second change is under the Now Playing screen. Now when you tap on Related and then scroll down, you will see a new section called Other Performances. And this one will include the covers or live performances for the same song. Change number three and the last one is the new music recommendation design. As you see here, if you are running Android 13, you will get a bigger card in your notifications shade. But unfortunately, I've never got the music recommendations to show you how it looks. But this is an article from 9 to 5 Google explains the new change that I'm going to leave its link in the description below. And if you are running Android 12, you will see a smaller size music recommendation. But this is no longer the case because Android 13 only has one size for the media controls. Next, Google Photos. And the most exciting change is the addition of the camouflage feature to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models. And I created a separate video talking about this feature. So in case you missed it, let me briefly show you how it works. When you tap on edit and then go to tools, then magic eraser, you will see a new tab here at the bottom called camouflage. When you tap on it, it will automatically suggest what, which areas you should camouflage. And when you tap on it, it will mute the colors. And you can also highlight any of the areas you want to apply the same effect on it. And this is how it works briefly. But if you want to check my full review for the feature, you can click the link in the description below. Change number two is on the web. Now when you expand the info pane of any photo, it will show you the backup quality. Next, Gcam. 
And we got version 8.6 and I created a separate video about each and every new change in this version. So I'm going to leave the video link in the description below in case you missed it. But let me show you the top new changes first. When you go to the modes tab, you will see a new card here that supports material U and shows all the options which is different from the previous version and when you go to motion photos you will see a new shutter key if you have the pixel 6 and 6 pro and lastly when you go to the video tab and then set your video resolution to full hd 30 frames per second while using the back camera now you can use the speech enhancement feature so it doesn't work with the front camera only now but you can use it with the back camera as well next google chrome and now when you go to the tabs switcher, you will see all your tabs in a list of view instead of a grid view like before with a thumbnail from the web page. Unfortunately, I don't like this change for many reasons. First, you don't see which web page is open. And secondly, you cannot group your tabs together anymore. And if you have a lot of tabs, it will be a very long list and it will be very confusing. But what's new here is the ability to close the tab and reopen it again. Uh, very quickly but this is the only advantage for this new design but overall i hope google will return back the old great view next digital well-being if you have a pixel phone running android 13 and the digital well-being app is up to date now when you go to settings digital well-being and then bedtime you will see a redesigned page with more options first it got material you support and everything is now more rounded also the buttons will match your wallpaper colors when you tap on turn on, you will see this new animation and also the ability to pause for 30 minutes. Next, you have a separate card for the bedtime routine where you can choose the schedule, turn on while it's charging and so on. Nothing new here, but it looks different. Same as the customized tab that includes more options as well. But what's new here is a new option under the screen options at bedtime. It's called dim the wallpaper. If you have the switch activated and then go to your home screen, so let me turn on the feature first So turn on now and go to the home screen and as you see it's a lot dimmer than before and this is how it looks after deactivating the feature next google messages and it got one new feature when you go to the messages app settings and then scroll down you will see an option here called swipe actions this option will allow you to customize the swipe actions and you have the ability to choose between archive delete or turn off the action entirely and the same for the other one and this is a similar feature to the gmail app next google play store and it got only one change the new app icon now shows on the home screen and instead of only showing under the points page like before and you will also notice a new outlined icon for the google play store in your status bar but unfortunately i'm not able to show you this on camera right now but you will notice a new change here as well next google duo and google meet both apps are being merged together into one app and right now when you open google duo you will see a banner at the top says duo has been upgraded to meet and when you tap on the new button to initiate a new call you will see two new options at the top one is to create a new meeting and the second one is to schedule a meeting in google calendar on top of this you will see a slightly different call screen here with material u buttons at the bottom and that's pretty much it and later on we should see only google meet to replace google duo and the current version of google meet has been renamed to meet original and it got this new green icon so when you open it you will see the same old design of google meet which will change very soon next gmail on the web got material u support it got the same compose button like the mobile client and the same side menu design as well it uses different shades of the blue color for all the controls and the same white background for the email messages you also have the option to add google meet and the chat to your side menu by clicking the gear icon and then take the boxes under each app and click on done and if you don't like this new design you can click the gear icon and choose go back to original view in this case it will ask you for the reason why you want to revert back to the original version before reloading the page now let's talk about some pixel exclusive features and the first change is under the wallpaper and the style app then curated culture and now you will see three new wallpapers to celebrate the indigenous day Change number two is in the system-wide search. Now, in some cases, you might see results from Google Play Store, like in this case, for example. So now I was trying to search for the Messenger app, and as you see, I can jump right away to the app page from the system-wide search, which is something new 
and I only have it on the Pixel 6a. I didn't get it on all other models I have like the 6 Pro, 5 and 4a. Change number three, sometimes when you take a screenshot, you will see a suggestion here to share this screenshot directly to a specific contact based on your phone usage. Number four, the at a glance widget can now show the air quality index and here's a screenshot from 9 to 5 Google. This is how it looks. And by the way, it doesn't have a separate toggle under the at a glance widget. However, the information appears automatically. And keep in mind, this information only appears if the air quality index is unhealthy, but not otherwise. And lastly, the Pixel Buds app got a new design for the touch controls page after the release of the Pixel Buds Pro. Even if you don't have the latest model, like in my case here, you will see that touch controls options are now in a list view. And when you tap on any of them, it will give you this new graphical representation. But if you have the pro model you might see an option here at the top to customize your touch and hold control and that's pretty much it so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes i wanted to show you in google apps please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature in any google app to share in my future episodes but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video